Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, well, we're going to be taking a look at News Now Lisa as Andre Sloan reveals her criminal record. And you know what? This is really only the third time I've ever done her channel because, well, I tend to shy away from her because her content was, well, as boring as watching stale piss as I commented in one of her videos because, well, she did ask me to uh, do a video on her and, well, I found it to be rather boring. But at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to look at Lisa May Soa, who has the channels News Now Lisa, Oklahoma Pig Hunter, and It's Sully in Miami Transparency. And she may have a fourth channel called News Now Lisa 2, but I couldn't find it in a YouTube search. Uh, maybe one of my subscribers or one of you wonderful watchers uh, would be able to find it for me. I would appreciate that. But I did want to show you um, what used to be Lisa's uh, about page on her News Now Lisa page uh, channel. Uh, she's she's obviously changed it. If you go and look at it now, it doesn't look the same. But I mean, look at this. How are we supposed to take her serious? When uh, she advertises on her channel that she's the best dick sucker this side of the Mississippi. Well, I'll just say this. Uh, if that mouth came anywhere near me and she offered it to me, I'll just make the same statement that uh, I made to somebody else who made me that offer, who was much uglier than her, by the way, by saying, no offense, I don't know where your mouth's been, but no thank you. I don't want you anywhere near that. I mean, she's proud of what she does, but how are we supposed to take her serious? Uh, how about uh, on her uh, other channel? It's always sun, uh, sun. It's always Sully in Miami Transparency. How about this? Back that ass up and bounce your titties. If you got them, shake them. What is that? This sounds more like a sexual charged escapade uh, than than even a legitimate frauder page would have, for Christ's sakes. I mean, I'm just not understanding where she's coming from. Uh, News Now Lisa claims that the cops have violated her civil rights, which you can see on her page. Well, civil rights and constitutional rights. I think they're the same thing, Lisa. Um, I think Lisa May Soa has violated the law on at least 10 occasions, resulting in at least 15 charges. So you tell me, is this sexualized freedom fighter fighting for our First Amendment rights, or is this just another career criminal with a scam? Uh, most likely the latter, my friend, because I haven't seen any frauditor who legitimately is fighting for anybody's rights, and I make the distinction between frauditor and auditor because there are actually some good auditors out there who don't act like a bunch of asshats who actually show the world how it's supposed to be done by not interfering in anything. But those are the very, very rare ones. Looking for revenge against the very people who protect her and against the system that holds her accountable for everything that she does. You tell me in the comments below. All right, let's explore news now, Lisa. Uh, Lisa Soa's criminal history that I was able to dig up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the criminal charges that we have uh, for uh, Lisa Soa. Um, the first three I've got here on the bottom, uh, there was no dates on these warrants. So I just put them down on the bottom. Um, and then what I did was is I put the case numbers off to the side. Uh, she had an unknown warrant or an unknown date. She had a warrant for failure to appear for a citation. And then I have a case number there. The second one is unknown uh, date. Uh, there was a warrant for license. It looks like vehicle financial responsibility, which would be your insurance. 
uh, none or not kept, and then there's a case number there. And then secondly, or the third one, I'm sorry, we have unknown date. It's a warrant. She failure to appear for a citation, which was a misdemeanor at the time. Uh, and then the case number. And then we're going to jump ahead. She goes way back to 1993, almost 30 years ago. On 1393, she took out an order of protection against a Misty Dawn Bozarth. I'm not quite sure who that is or why she took out a warrant or a, a order of protection on her. Uh, then we go to July 14th, 1994. She had a bogus checks charge, which looks like a felony, but it may have been a misdemeanor. I'm trying to find out that with uh, the authorities in Oklahoma right now. Um, but she was found guilty of that charge, and her fine was uh, $340. All right, we're going to move up to May 19th. 1995, and a Angela Purdy took out an order of protection against Lisa. Uh, then we go to July 11th, 1995. Lisa was arrested for violation of an order of protection, which was a misdemeanor. She was found guilty, and she was given a $130 fine. Uh, we skip ahead to October 20th, 1995. And it says, order of protection against Lisa Soa by Angie Purdy. I don't know if those are the same people or not, Angela and Angie. Uh, but there was a, a second order of protection put against her in October. Yeah, sounds a lot like that. She's got a history of violence to me with the uh, orders of protection like that. Yeah, th that's what it sounds like to me that... Well, she's not exactly the best person to be around, that's for sure. Which is just par for the course for any frauder out there. Just somebody you don't really want to be around. Somebody that'll drag you down to the depths of hell just for the fun of it. And then we jump ahead almost a year uh, to October 14th, 1996. And there was an order of protection against Lisa from a Holly Walker. Uh, we jump ahead uh, a few months to May 12th, 1997, and that's supposed to be Petty Larceny. I don't know why I spelled Larceny wrong. Uh, she had three charges of uh, Petty Larceny, all misdemeanors, and she was found guilty and given a $300 fine. On 115.02, she had four charges. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm right. All right. So let's start at the top. Um, she was arrested for possession of a controlled substance, which was an aggravated misdemeanor. Uh, she was found guilty and given a $500 fine. She was arrested for gathering for use of marijuana, which was a serious misdemeanor. And she was found guilty, and I'm going to guess that the $500 fine covered both charges. Uh, then she was, uh, same date, she was arrested for possession of a controlled substance, which was a serious misdemeanor, and that was dismissed. And she was also arrested that date for possession of drug paraphernalia, which was a simple misdemeanor, and that was dismissed. It was probably the... Uh, told her that they would pay for, or uh, they would convict her on a couple charges if she, ah, let me rephrase that. They would dismiss a couple of the charges if she would plead guilty to the other two. Uh, then we're going to jump ahead to, uh, let's see, September 9th, 1992. She had a contempt of district court, which was a serious misdemeanor, and that ended up getting dismissed. Uh, we do 18 years uh, goes between uh, the charges. Uh, if she was in a different state, if somebody knows that, I can find, I can take a look and see if uh, uh, if there were charges in any other state. But it looks like she went 18 years without getting in any trouble. Yeah, no way she could have gone 18 years uh, without causing any trouble. She must have moved to another state and, well, they have the records. We just don't know which state they are in. But I'm willing to bet, yeah, that she did not stop causing trouble. 
Uh, and then she, on uh, April 23rd, 2020, she operated a motor vehicle without a license. <laughs> Whoa, she's a big time criminal. Anyway, she was found guilty, given a $294 fine. And then very, very recently, on August 7th, 2023, uh, Lisa was picked up on a warrant because for uh, unpaid parking tickets. And I didn't see a disposition on that. I'm not quite sure if uh, they dropped it or she got charges. And Oklahoma seems to be pretty slow on uh, putting things on their system, on their database. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, let's see, no, uh, September 6th, 2005, Lisa had an eviction from an apartment that she lived in, uh, and it looks like she still owes the uh, landlord $6,310. Now, this one here I'm curious about. Lisa will have to come on the page or on my channel and tell me whether this is her or not. But I found a federal tax lien against uh, a Lisa May Sowa. That was for February 21st, 2019. Um, it was for a federal tax lien uh, for wages and investments for a total of $15,635 um, out of the Indianapolis, Indiana office. So Lisa, if you're watching this video, which I really hope you are. Do me a favor and uh, come on here and uh, let us know if uh, that was you or not. Yeah, I would like to know how you managed to owe the IRS $15,000. I mean, for somebody in your position, uh, that would be uh, a fortune. I mean, what the hell? Maybe give us a brief explanation of what happened there. That's a lot, a lot of tax uh, that uh, either you didn't pay or that they came up with that you owed in some way or another. So, so Lisa May Soa, as you can see up on top here, she also goes by the name Lisa May Walker, which may be her uh, uh, maiden name. Um, interestingly enough, I, f <laughs> I found a picture that's supposedly of her uh, being arrested, and her name was Brittany Jones, which is, uh, I'm not sure if... That's an alias of hers or what is going on. Maybe she could let us know. Anyway, she, uh, here's an email address for her that she uses, News Now Lisa. Uh, she seems to do all of her videos in Miami, uh, Oklahoma. I think she still lives there, but she may live in an outskirts of that area. and That's just where she likes to go to videotape. Um, we have another email of us for her, uh, Lisa Soa at Hotmail. And the last job that I could find for her was at Harbor Freight's Tools. Uh, she was a cashier, and that was September of last year in 2022. As I said, she also has the channel's Oklahoma Pig Hunter. And it's always Sully in Miami Transparency. And she may have another channel called uh, News Now Lisa 2. Well, thank you, Andre Sloan, for uh, yet another uh, expose on one of these so-called freedom fighters. You know, the more he digs into this, the more it makes you wonder why people even follow these idiots. I mean, they're not fighting for anybody's freedom. They're just, well, stirring the pot just to make a buck on YouTube. And, well, I do believe that, yeah, they are scammers in that way. But, hey, it's like, well... How many people drank the Kool-Aid at Jonestown because of what another person believed? About 900 or so. So it's easy to find followers who are willing to, well, follow an idiot straight down the toilet. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley.
You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?